Hello everyone. Today is Sunday, January 9th, 2022. Criminals burn two journalists alive. This article is taken from Journal de Angola. Two Haitian journalists were burned alive by a criminal group in Port-au-Prince, the capital of Haiti, reported on Friday 8th, CNN, which quotes a security source in that country. Uh, it says Friday 8th. I don't, I don't think Friday was the 8th. No, it wasn't. Saturday was the 8th. Anyway, the source said that the T. Macaque gang carried out the killings in the Petionville neighborhood of the Haitian capital. Excuse me. The motive and details of the attack remain unclear, the source said. A third journalist managed to escape, the source added. Haitian radio Ecoute FM confirmed that one of its journalists, John Wesley Amadi, was killed in the attack while on mission to document the lack of security in Petionville. Yeah, lack of security. Uh, in a statement to CNN, the station Ecoute FM said Amadi, he was shot and burned alive by armed bandits. We condemn with the utmost rigor this criminal and barbaric act, the radio said, calling the journalist's death a serious attack. Ecoute FM suspended operations in a sign of solidarity with the victim's family. The statement said, the attacks are set against the backdrop of extreme violence and deteriorating security conditions in Port-au-Prince. The capital of Haiti suffers from rival groups fighting each other and the police. The effect of this conflict has been to displace tens of thousands of Haitians across the country, one of the poorest in the Americas. In July of last year, Haitian President Jovenel Moise was assassinated during an attack on his home, leaving a power vacuum that deepened the turmoil caused by violence, Haiti's growing humanitarian crisis, and the COVID-19 pandemic. The United States on Tuesday arrested a Colombian man for alleged involvement in Jovenel's murder. So, um, this, these bandits, these gangs, uh, obviously they're well armed uh, be, if they're fighting the police. Um, and it, it's a major problem in Haiti. And so the only way this, this problem is going to be resolved is if a military force goes there and this interim president or prime minister, I think he's a prime minister, um, has, Henri, has, has made an agreement to let the UN back in. As I said in a previous uh, video that this is ridiculous because while he should be demanding that the UN, after I think it's been 11 years, uh, since the 10,000 Haitians have died from from uh, cholera that was given to them by the Nepalese uh, UN uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me members who dumped their feces into the river and it went downstream. It killed 10,000 people. The UN still hasn't claimed responsibility for this. Uh, I mean, they claim responsibility after pressure after investigation and finally they they said that they were at fault but they haven't compensated any of the victims families and so but this interim prime minister is going to let these people back the un this this uh, organization back into his country so i mean the sooner he gets out of office the better for haiti they need a strong head of state who will not allow the UN in, uh, you know, it's uh, just out of respect for for the country and especially for the families of the people who died, the 10,000 people who died uh, because of the, that organization, the UN. And somehow he needs to get, I mean, obviously his own people, they, they should be the bulk of, of the forces, but he needs to get some weapons in his country 
to build up his military to defeat this this gang problem.